Hello everyone, my name is Wendy Myers. Welcome to the Myers Detox Podcast. You can learn all, all about detox on myersdetox.com, my website. But this podcast is all about how to remove toxins from your body. And today we have a very special guest, Eileen Durfee, talking about infrared sauna tips that you've never heard of. We make all kinds of different discoveries on the show today regarding infrared sauna glasses, how to clean the air in your sauna because you're you're sweating and you're, you know, vaporizing all these different toxins that you sweat out in a sauna and that gets into the air so we have a way to clean that. Uh, we also talk about some natural beauty products and and why you lose weight better when you exercise when you have infrared lamp bulbs shining on you so lots of really really interesting tips on today's show and if you're listening you're probably very very concerned about heavy metals and i have developed a quiz to determine what your level of heavy metals are if you have low medium or high potential levels of heavy metals So if you want to take this two-minute quiz, go to metalsquiz.com and find out what your metal levels are and what you can do about it if you do have heavy metals. Our guest today, Eileen Durfee, is a former nuclear power engineer, auditor, and inspector. She became toxic and suffered from allergies, chemical sensitivities, and thyroid disease, Hashimoto's. During her journey to heal, detoxify, and achieve natural health, she invented helpful solutions just on her own health journey to get better. And we all benefit as a result of that. She has so many neat things on her website, creatrixsolutions.com. Eileen is passionate about taking good ideas and creating better health products to support detoxification, energy production, mineralization, and natural health. She was granted one utility patent and has seven patents pending and is writing a self-help books to fix the $100 billion a year low back pain problem. You can learn more about Eileen's work at creatrixsolutions.com. Eileen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Why don't you tell us a little bit about infrared sauna lamp therapy? You've designed an infrared sauna lamp with a really interesting tent uh, that really helps to increase the benefits while you're doing an infrared sauna. But why don't you talk about why we want to use an infrared sauna in the first place? Well, the whole reason why we have life on Earth is because 30% of sunlight is near infrared. It's why we have photosynthesis. Plants respond, animals, humans. And what it does is absolutely amazing because we eat to digest food to make cellular energy. And here this light, you can bypass weak digestion systems or have a life hack to get a jolt of cellular energy because those cells absorb near infrared and then it does something to the mitochondria. That's like the powerhouse of your cell and it causes the cell to make ATP. So you feel great. I mean, you know, sauna therapy is great. It's undisputed heat stress therapy really helps the body up hot enough with near infrared and then do the boost for the ATP. That's what makes it so magical. Yeah, and we use infrared sauna therapy to induce sweat so that we have this productive sweat that has all kinds of metals and chemicals in it that we're trying to rid our body of. That's why you're listening to this podcast. You want to learn different tips and tricks on how to detox your body of heavy metals and chemicals. So that's really one of the main reasons we want to use it. Um, But I love that infrared light bulb saunas that they actually use bulbs those give you the added benefit of the energy boost because they're stimulating your mitochondria which generate two-thirds of the energy in you in the mitochondria the two-thirds of the energy they produce is produced from light is the the lights kind of activating the bio photons and they produce energy another third of it is from your food and the the nutrients that are 
you know, shuttled into the mitochondria and the Krebs cycle to make ATP, which is our energy. But we need that light. And so many people, especially during the winter months, don't get enough sunlight and therefore their energy is affected. Well, the additional benefit, because in summertime, you know, just because it's hot outside, do we quit taking saunas? I don't think so, because heating up your core body temperature with the near infrared light is so different than working outside and sweating. You will actually have more toxins in sweat from a sauna session than just working outside. A, a lot of times you'll just be losing a lot of electrolytes when you're outside and you're getting dehydrated. But the neat thing, cause I went from far infrared to near infrared. And at first I thought, well, it can't be that much different. You know, I'm sweating. But what is awesome is double the circulation with the blood shunting. Well, people don't realize even in the saunas that have now the red light, near infrared and far infrared frequencies, the temperature and all these frequencies are coming at the body at all different angles. So it's like the ambient air temperature is pretty much the same. But with a lamp sauna, your body, it's got this awesome homostatic response. It's like when you first get in one of these saunas, if you've never taken one before, you'll literally start sweating on one side of your body. It's so weird. But your body shunts blood towards the light and it will vasculate your tissues. And, and the purpose of that is so that the blood goes close to the skin so water can escape and form sweat to cool you down. And we want to stay hot so we wipe off that side of the body and then we turn the opposite direction and and when you do that the first time you're going to see where you're could literally be cold on one side of your body and sweating on the other <laughs> and then when you turn you know you do the same thing and so you're kind of like a chicken on a rotisserie but not turning that fast <laughs> that's actually what i talk about when you're and i've used my my sauna that's the bulbs are on the one side you're turning like a rotisserie chicken so, so that you can get every single part you know part of your body or side of your body <laughs> and you know i started out with the homemade you know, wooden lamp fixture and like Dr. Wilson advocated using the canvas. And, you know, I had Hashimoto's and, you know, it was just like cold hands and feet all the time. I mean, I could exercise and not sweat, you know, years ago. And so that wasn't good for me because I had to actually literally bring an auxiliary heater in there because the canvas didn't value. I mean, it takes one inch of wood to have an R value of 1.4. And the other thing is, I started thinking about, okay, light travels at the speed of light. How can we keep all those healing frequencies in there with us and then maximize the time? Because I'm always, I'm a gizmo woman and I'm like, how can I hack this into making it quicker to feel better? Because bottom line, if it isn't quick and easy to put in my life, I'm not going to do it. So, so I came up with this radiant tent because it blocks all of the light. I mean, if you sit on the opposite side of this tent with a remote control trying to turn on something, the signal's blocked. It, it, it can't get through there. Yeah, granted, you can talk on your cell phone. It doesn't block that wireless, you know, signal. But the light that we're producing can't leave. And there's pictures on my website that show with an internal partition, the light is remaining just in that part of the sauna. And what we found is that you sweat faster when you have more activation, you know, of the mitochondria with those healing frequencies. And, and so, you know, just using a lamp, that's how I started in a small bathroom over the back of a door and, and I just wasn't sweating. And then of course, canvas tents and it still wasn't good. And so that's when I came up with, you know, the radiant material, the new stuff that we just came out with, of course, it's got organic cotton, lead free zippers, you know, all the non-toxic stuff that we love, but it's got an R12 insulation. I mean, your house walls have an R19, <laughs> you know, and so this thing, is the first sauna that you don't have to preheat. 
You'll sweat twice as much in half the time. Why? Maximized phototherapy and it retains 95% of the heat. That's great. Yeah, because that's a big issue with infrared saunas, no matter what type you have, is you've got to heat it up for 20, 30 minutes even, sometimes before you can get in, before, so that you can sweat, so you can sit in it for 30 or 40 or 50 minutes so that you can get a sweat. You can't just go into any sauna and turn it on and then expect to have a, a productive sauna session. Yeah, with this tent, because I had some customers who had my earlier radiant tent, which the walls were R4.5. And so they got the temperature up, you know, no problem, no auxiliary heat required. And it was great. But now those people, they upgraded to the new tent. And they're like calling me going, Eileen, I was dripping sweat in the old sauna at 30 minutes. I'm dripping sweat at 12 to 15 minutes in this sauna. And I just feel so much better. And so it's definitely an upgrade. And we uh, thought about the health of the person because, you know, when you sweat, like Wendy was saying, you're going to have, what, at least six toxins coming out of your body? I mean... Isn't there like arsenic and cadmium and the BPAs and the, all, all the different stuff coming out? Then when the sweat gets hot, it actually humidifies. And so then when you have a porous material like canvas, it's going to attract and retain some of those toxins inside your sauna enclosure. So to solve that problem... And that is, is these panels, you just take a, a wet rag and you can wipe them and you can clean them and they're non-porous. So you're not going to get the humidified toxins, you know, in the tent. So it's, it's cleaner. Uh, it's easier to maintain. Yeah. And so but, you have this reflective surface where the, the red light bulbs are, you know, emitting the light, the far and the near infrared from the bulb and hitting it at some point and that bounces back onto your body. So you're almost like recycling the, the, the light rays, the infrared rays. And right. Yeah, so you, you just get more out of it. So you can see how <laughs> it, just, it just holds it all in. There's nothing you know, coming out. And what's so great about the reflective service on your radiant sauna tent is that when the red bulbs emit the infrared rays, they hit the reflective surface, bounce back onto your body, say on your back, for instance, which isn't facing the light bulbs, and heats you up everywhere. You don't have to turn around like the rotisserie chicken, like like I've been doing, <laughs> and a lot of the listeners are doing. And so you, it's almost like you're recycling the infrared rays, correct? Yeah, it's, it's maximizing the effects. I still like turning 180 degrees, because it still is hotter, even though the phototherapy is happening, uh, you know, by reflecting off of the, the radiant surface, you know, those, the heat is coming off those heat lamps. And so I still like to get that blood shunning because it's double the circulation. Yeah. But you don't, you don't have to constantly be, you know, turning like in, you know, the other type of enclosures. And so is your sauna thermostat controlled? Like can someone set the temperature if they want to? Uh, no, it's not because every time you do that, it increases EMF. You know, anything that plugs in, even with shielding, grounding, all that kind of stuff, there's no such thing as like zero EMF because it's still measurable. But those, like any dimmer switch, any you know, controlling thermostat switch that throws off harmful EMF. And so with the new tent, basically the instructions are do not preheat the tent. Get in, turn it on, sit, you know, 18 to 24 inches away from the lights and rotate when your skin feels sensitive. And what happens is before the ambient air temperature gets too hot, you know, to be uncomfortable, 
then you'll begin sweating. Now, some people that are very maybe chronically ill, uh, they'll start off with leaving the door open or they will only install three of the four bulbs. But most everyone, once they get the system, realizes that with no preheat, they just are in there, they're feeling great, they start sweating, and then they're getting out before they would need to turn down the temperature. Yeah, because I don't like that. I don't like turning my sauna on and then having to wait for 30 minutes until I can get in because it just isn't hot enough. You know, when I kind of, it occurs to me to do my sauna, I want to just hop, hop in and take care of business. You know what I'm saying? And that's a very good point with the EMF. That's a huge, huge problem in a lot of infrared saunas. And while you are getting benefit in an infrared sauna, if you have high EMF emissions or electromagnetic fields that are emitted by our wireless internet and our cell phones and computers and things like that, um, those can have a negative impact on your health when you're trying to do something healthy. Right. So there's a lot of benefits to using the radiant uh, material in combination with the bulbs, you know, all the other, you know, near infrared bulb saunas, they're getting what, 100 to 120 degrees maximum. Uh, a lot of people put in an auxiliary heater, which is going to produce EMF and that and consume more, you know, electricity. But the, the restricting problem that I didn't like with the canvas was I couldn't lay down. You know, so many people want to lay down to take a sauna, to do meditation, those kinds of things. Uh, the next group of people, there's a lot of people that want to stand up and take a sauna because maybe they have back problems and they can't sit or they're into like fascia blasting and they want to have room to rake, you know, the bar up and down on their body. And so that's what spurred on the uh, new design of the tent because I had people, my old design was four foot by four foot by five foot. So you still had to crawl in like the other uh, near infrared saunas, but people were flipping the tent on the side, pushing it up against the wall and laying diagonal so that they could <laughs> lay down. And it's like, oh my gosh, we got to make a tent where people can lay down. And so now it's just you know, the brackets, and you don't even have to take the panels off the tent to slip it. I made the panels just right that you can just slip it in there, flip it in less than five minutes. And uh, then, of course, I'm six foot tall. My son is six foot five. And, you know, there is no even traditional, you know, far infrared sauna that a six foot five person could stand up or even lay down in. And so with this convertible tent, you can do that. And uh, so I, I think we, you know, resolved the main um, arguments of why somebody wouldn't go from a far infrared to an air infrared because, you know, canvas material, not heating up enough and the restriction in size or some people that are claustrophobic that have bought my sauna tent and even with as small for somebody who's claustrophobic this tent would still be small but because of the brightness of the radiant surface even when you you know wear your your eye protection wear uh they don't feel claustrophobic yes um you know like it's open and 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 energetic Let's talk about the sauna glasses that you were just wearing. And this is really one of the reasons I wanted to have you on the show. We had a conversation a while ago and I thought this lady really knows her stuff. She's really thinking through every different aspect of a sauna session with science backed information and listening to her customers and catering to their needs. And so you have so many delightful products and things that you develop. We're going to go over each one of them one by one. But first I wanted to talk about the near infrared sauna glasses. So it's been, from my understanding from interviewing so-called experts on infrared saunas that the infrared rays are perfectly safe for your eyes. So why don't you tell us why that isn't necessarily so and what you can do to protect your eyes while you're doing an infrared lamp sauna? Sure. Well, I sold a sauna to an ocean specter and 
he sent me all kinds of research information for workplace exposure to near infrared, which is the 700 to 1400 nanometers of light. And if you were an employer and you were exposing your employees to less than what a person gets in a near infrared sauna, you'd have to provide protection eyewear. And so my son at the time was going to the University of Washington, and now he has a bachelor's in uh, biology and a minor in chemistry. And so I brought him into the conversation about, you know, what's going on here? What's the truth to this? Because there is a study that, you know, rats blinded with wood alcohol had their sight restored with some red light therapy, you know, 660 nanometers. And, and you hear that as the excuse for why, you know, it's safe to not have eyewear in an ear for red sauna uh, because the heat lamp bulbs, you know, produce 550 to 3400 nanometers of light and it peaks at like maybe 1100. So they are getting some 660 nanometers. Well, my son dug up a, a National Institutes of Health study where they actually literally blinded rabbits with GE 250 watt heat lamp bulbs. And he said, Mom, if there was enough of the 660, nanometers of light in the spectrum, then it would have protected those eyes. And then when talking with him further and the OSHA inspector and reading all those studies, it turns out that your eyes actually just absorb the heat faster than all other tissues in your body. And so just like we have the shunting of the blood in the near infrared sauna, your body also goes into defensive mode and says, oh my gosh, we don't want that retina getting too hot. So let's thicken the lens of the eye, which forms cataracts. And when you go on line and read on Wikipedia and the OSHA and all these things, uh, they say that you should protect the eyes. I mean, obviously, 30% of sunlight is near infrared. If you sit next to a fireplace, you know, you're getting near infrared. A welder, you know, they wear specific glasses because part of those arcs are damaging to the eye in that spectrum. So basically, I went to buy, because I was convinced after doing two years of near, daily near-infrared sauna therapy without eye protection, uh, I went to go buy glasses, and nobody sold any that completely protected 700 to 1400. They had laser glasses that had other spectrums, and, but nothing. And so I got a hold of a company, because you have to have them FDA-approved, they have to, you know, meet certain guidelines. And basically, the glasses that I came up with are a polycarbonate that wrap all the way around, you know, the side temple, which is especially important if you're using a radiant tent. And they'll fit over, you know, reading glasses. But uh, no, one, no one had these. And... When I priced out, let's only block 700 to 1400, the price per pair of glasses was over $300 and it would have to be a solid glass lens so you lost the side protection. So I made these and they protect uh, 190 to 1800 nanometers of light. So they actually block out blue light. They can be used for sunglasses. They can be used for a lot of things. Uh, but see, I, I do wear glasses and I had an eye exam, you know, about every two years. And I had started using near infrared without uh, any eyewear protection before I knew about it. So as soon as I found out and got some eyewear, I went in, it was time for my exam. And sure enough, I had slight cataracts forming in my eyes. Now, since I've had those exams, it hasn't progressed any further you know, obviously that's anecdotal, but we have one pair of eyes. I never sell a sauna without the glasses. Actually, I have carried two million in product liability insurance on the sauna fix. 
And part of the reason why I was able to get down to almost $700 a month in the insurance for that is that I produce, you know, I, I provide the glasses. And so I just, you know, as soon as I learn something, I don't want to defend a past habit of, you know, I sold saunas without the eyewear. I mean, I want to take the extra precaution and provide the safety, you know, for the clients. Yes, and that's what I'm doing now is I'm wearing the sauna fix sauna glasses um, when I'm doing an infrared sauna session in my lamp sauna um, because it's in incredibly important to protect your eyes. And so I'm glad that, we're, you know, you brought that to my attention and to our listeners' attention as well. And so let's talk about how exercise and near infrared sauna use can boost your weight loss by 444%. I mean, I, I'll, I'll admit it, I, one of the reasons <laughs> I use an infrared sauna is for weight loss because, you know, we have lots of, you know, number one, uh, you burn calories, increase circulation in a sauna, and uh, you have all these toxins stored in your fat. And if you aren't sweating, uh, you are, you know, you've got to have some way to heat up those fat cells near infrared and uh, infrared is a great way to do that. And you want to release all those toxins from your fat and then sweat them out. And many people don't lose weight because your body has to store these toxins somewhere and needs those fat cells as a storage receptacle, the, the body, the, you know, garbage can of the body. Uh, to store this stuff and so your body won't let you release it won't let go of those fat cells because it's got to put it somewhere so can you talk a little bit about that about weight loss and sauna use sure um, i ran across a german study where they had 40 women riding bicycles and it, it the results were dramatic the study length was for one month participants came three days a week and rode stationary bicycles for 45 minutes. That was it. And they were in an open room. Uh, 20 of them had near infrared lights shining on them, you know, like about 18 inches to 24 inches away from their body. And amazing things happened. Uh, they lost over 444% more fat and weight and actually because they theorized that with the near infrared, it sped up the fat cell metabolism and then actually burned that fat for energy. And, you know, our whole body has a metabolism, but then every cell, muscle cells have a different metabolism. You know, it's like where you accumulate your fat, you know, that part of your body's cooler, you know, it's because it's a slower metabolism. And so in that uh, one month study, they also lost eight centimeters in the circumference of their body. And so, you know, their blood sugar improved. They had less pain. They were more flexible. I mean, just dramatic. That's like unheard of. That's like for every time you exercise, if you had near infrared light shining on you, it'd be like doing the exercise four times. <laughs> You know, it's like I don't exercise anymore unless I have the light shining on me. And, you know, I've never been really too overweight. I mean, I'm six foot tall. I mean, I think my height was one eight. I mean, my my heaviest weight was 183, which was too much for me. And I had been using the regular sauna. I had the old sauna version, you know, where I would sit in that had the R4.5, and then I switched to the one prototype where I was laying down, but it was still the older insulation. And so then I switched out for the hot yoga tent. Uh, Jen Bodner from Yoga Digest had one of my other saunas, and then they got a second one and they zipped the tents together, you know, to make it bigger. And they were doing, you know, yoga poses and she goes oh I'd lean if it was only this tall and we could do this and so I made the the bigger tent and so it's really only you know about a 16 inches longer than the lay down version I had so I figured okay I'll just put that in there and I lost 23 pounds doing nothing I mean I didn't even do the the 45 minute routine you know and 
I just started doing stretching and yoga poses for about 10 minutes. And then I would finish up with just the rotating, you know, but I was already in the, in the 10 minutes, I was dripping sweat. And, and so, and I did nothing else different, you know, I, you know, workaholic, you know, <laughs> just, I definitely do my saunas and it just made a world of difference. I mean, drop two sizes, you know, so it's, it's backed up by science. That's what's so awesome. And you know, I was in a car wreck uh, and had knee surgery, you know, and so with this tent, especially like with the poles in the middle, you know, because of my knees, I can't go all the way down like I used to. So I can do a little assist, you know, but I'm just getting more flexible and it's just wonderful. Yeah. And so li ladies, listen up. If you're having trouble losing weight and you've been doing the dieting, you've been starving yourself, you've been exercising like that hamster on a wheel going nowhere, because we've all been there before, including myself, you know, infrared sauna use is one of the number one things you need to do to sweat out toxins, obesogens that are thing, uh, chemicals and toxins that cause your stem cells to turn into fat cells rather than ear cells or other cells in your body. It will promote stem cells in your body to turn into fat cells and cause your current fat cells to grow exponentially larger. That's what these toxins, chemicals, parabens, pesticides, and other things are doing inside your body. You want to get them out of you. And one of the best ways to do that is with an infrared lamp sauna. So let's talk about one of the negative effects of sauna use, which obviously if you're sweating, it's mineral loss. And so we have to do things to mitigate that, that mineral loss from our bodies because minerals are a huge factor in detoxing your body from heavy metals. Metals uh, can be pushed out of your body by taking minerals, repleting minerals. And so you discovered something called healthy salt. And it's, uh, you know, you say it's much better than Himalayan salt or, or Redmond's real salt. Can you talk a little bit about that? It's really interesting. It's this really, really fine powder. It's the finest salt that I, I've ever tried. And uh, why don't you talk a little about that and help how it can help replete minerals from sweating in your sauna and just if you're not doing a sauna yeah um the healthy salt comes in a little jar it's just two ounces but the dosage is one sixteenth of a teaspoon in your mouth like here's it, it's a little little tiny tiny powder you just put a little bit in there it's actually almost 30 percent minerals i i probably shouldn't have called it healthy salt um it's got a 10.72 pH. Now I met a Korean acupuncturist and his family has had this processing recipe for thousands of years to make it. It is not the nine times roasted bamboo salt. It's uh, different because it's got the highest content of minerals, lowest sodium, smallest particulate size, and it's just you know, phenomenal because as Wendy explained that we can drive heavy metals out of our body by taking minerals. Why we're getting toxic in the first place is a lot of the minerals are not in our food or we're stressed out and we need higher amounts than we're getting. And so the body will use junkyard parts. You know, I tell people it's like your car, you know, duct taping something together or using bailing wire you can still get from point a to point b and the body does the same thing but when it has the minerals in, in this ratio of healthy salt it's amazing because i've done lab tests i did regular monthly lab tests and sure enough every time i was on that salt my body dumped tons of toxins and then my good minerals increased as well my energy production increased it is just phenomenal for keeping the mineral content, whether you're doing a uh, sauna or not. And also a lot of people are like dehydrated and they, you know, are acid. You know, doing the alkaline, everything. But I mean, just drink one cup of coffee and, and do a, 
uh, pH test strip and you're going to be acid and pretty much everything out there, it takes a while to shift your body alkaline, not with the healthy salt. This is like so dramatic alkaline and your body loves the minerals it thinks it won the lottery and so it just helps this whole process that you know wendy's teaching you about detox let's give it new car parts so it'll freely give up the junkyard parts and uh, keep your body from becoming um you know minerally depleted from because you are going to sweat a lot more you know, especially in the radiant tent sauna. So yeah, and what you mean by that is that, you know, when you're you don't have the minerals that your body needs, it's not in the food, it's not in the soil that the food's grown in, um, that your body will actually use heavy metals, it'll use cadmium to repair your arteries, it'll use other metals and other things that are not preferred, um, because it just doesn't have the minerals to repair the body in the way at which it wants to. And so it's incredibly important to take minerals in all different types of forms because we're all deficient in minerals. And what I love about the healthy salt, it's the super fine powder, very readily absorbable because many people today, there are so many things working against their gut absorption. Uh, including stress and just so many different things, antibiotics, glyphosate, um, lack of energy to absorb nutrients, a lot of different issues in the gut. And so people are taking lots and lots and lots of supplements and their mineral levels are not going up. So that's a big problem too. And I love it that you did this self-experimentation where you were doing hair mineral analyses and when you're taking the salt, you see all your heavy metals going up and increasing because your body's pushing them out. And when you stop doing the salt and your hair test, you didn't have as many metals coming out. So I love that you're doing self-testing like that. Well, I'm, I met this guy and the salt's incredibly expensive. You know, I'm my own guinea pig. You know, if there's science behind something, I usually thoroughly test it. And when he had all my favorite salts out there and all these glasses of water with acid water in them and putting a pinch in and none of them changed color except the one he put the healthy salt in it went blue I go okay I'm sold so I did the take a hair analysis go on the salt for one month stop take a hair analysis and I alternated every other month to the point where I knew for sure that this was affecting my body. And then I spent like $3,000 on testing the salt. He told me it was like nine pH and the lab test came back at 10.72. He said that it, uh, you know, had this and that, you know, and so I confirmed it all with lab testing. It's like, Himalayan salt. There was a book that came out in what was it, 2003, about make your water so lay and all this kind of stuff and, you know, mineralize your body. Well, looking at the uh, certificate mineral analysis of Himalayan salt, it's mostly sodium chloride and it has 0.8% minerals. You know, so it's like 98% sodium chloride, some sulfur, and then just a little tiny bit of minerals, less than 1%. So like magnesium in Himalayan salt is one part per million. In healthy salt, it's 6,800 parts per million. So you get an idea when a, in a salt has almost 30% minerals, you're just going to have so much more. And the other interesting thing is... When you measure the ORP value of a liquid, you know, the lower it goes, the more, uh, excuse me, um, the, the higher it goes, the more inflammatory it is to the body. And it was so interesting because we measured Himalayan water salt soleil and the longer it stayed in the water, the more acid it went down to like in the five range. And the higher the ORP value went. So literally all these people following the advice of these experts and reading that book are actually causing inflammation in their body and they're not really mineralizing themselves. And so probably more people buy Himalayan salt than, you know, any kind of salt out there. So I actually threw it away <laughs> and I used the healthy salt therapeutically. And then I found some salt from the Sea of Cortez that is the second highest mineral content with an 8 pH that complements that for the cooking. 
So yeah, salt is so important. I mean, before refrigeration, a lot of foods were salted and preserved and, you know, people had a lot more salt in their diet, you know, but the people with high blood pressure, even the healthy salt, because it's such low sodium, they're able to use it without spiking their blood pressure. Uh, so it's, it's amazing. Just don't start off taking your healthy salt at night because it really gives you energy. There's some product reviews on there. One guy said, you should say that it's happy salt because <laughs> he just doesn't even have to take his depression medication anymore. And it's just like, who knew that such mineral depletion could cause so many problems, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, minerals are using every different metabolic function in our body. You don't have minerals. A lot of things are not going to work properly. Big surprise. No energy. You're not going to feel good. You're going to feel depressed. Your brain's not going to work. Minerals are the spark plugs of the body. We need them. And you. And I love these differentiations that you're making about different salts. because they're Just because it says salt on it doesn't mean that it's full of minerals. There's a very wide variance in mineral content and quality of salts from really terrible to table salt to healthy salt, which I think is the most the healthiest salt out there that you can buy. And granted, it is expensive, but you know, it's just when you have that really, really super high mineral content, 30% minerals compared to less than 1% in Himalayan sea salt, that's the, a huge, huge difference in your health. You know, the real salt, the gray salt from France, the Hawaiian salt, they're all like less than 2% minerals. They're anywhere from, you know, less than 1% to maybe, you know, 2% at the max. Um, and so it's just a huge game changer when you can give somebody, especially somebody with, uh, you know, heart issues, a low sodium salt either for cooking the Baja gold or the healthy salt for the therapeutic it just it just makes a huge difference um you know we we have a lot of customers that where it's just that simple thing they don't do anything else and that just helps them tremendously yes I love the healthy salt I've been taking it every single day and I'm just so happy that I met you and got introduced to this uh, it's just a, it's just an amazing compliment to my health regime and so simple. And so if anyone's interested in getting this, you can click the link below to Eileen Duffy's website and all the products that we're talking about are all available on her site. But I don't want to stop the interview just yet um, because you have some other things that I love. You've got this personal air filter um, that I absolutely love. It's called the Breathe Safe. And what I love about it is because you, there are a lot of differentiations that you make uh, about air filters and, um, you know, that we're going to talk about, but a lot of air filters are really loud and they, they suck the air in and they make all this noise and it's just, it's, it just bothersome to me. And so I don't like those type of air filters and some of them are really, really large and, and it can be quite an investment. But what's great about this is you can um, just put it on your desk, on, in your personal space, or just carry it with you even um, if you're going somewhere and you're super, super sensitive uh, to air or mold in your air. You know, some people are hyper, hyper sensitive, multiple chemical sensitive, um, have mold issues. They walk into a building and just get hit, knocked over by the mold. Can you talk a little bit about your Breathe Safe invention? Sure. It's portable because you can plug it into a power bank, you know, that you have for your, your laptop or your tablet. Uh, battery, this will run for 72 hours. And I designed it that way so it doesn't have an internal fan, but you'll feel a breeze across here. That's because the voltage that I put through the needles and then the top plate causes a reaction. It's actually a new way to make oxygen. Uh, you know, so it makes a tremendous amount of negative ions and a little bit of positive. It's kind of like priming the pump where 
repeatedly rob hydrogen molecules off the surface of pathogens. So it cleans the air, it breaks down volatile organic compounds, it cleans particulates smaller than a HEPA filter will clean. But I, you know, read a sauna study from Europe because they rate ion therapy as half the you know, benefits of taking a sauna. And some of the saunas, when they were pouring water over the rocks, were emitting positive ions and causing people to be extra fatigued and have headaches and was actually not healthy for them. And so they began testing all the different sauna heaters to make sure that they produced enough negative ions. And they found out that if the air is filled with at least 20,000 ions per cubic centimeter, that's like the size of a sugar cube, then the sweat volume of the person would double and you and they would get hotter. And you'd think, you know, maybe with all that sweating, you'd be uncomfortable. But actually, strangely enough, in, the, in this test, they felt more refreshed. And then another interesting thing, because we take a sauna to heat up our core body temperature. And when these people got out of the sauna, their rectal temperature continued to rise. You know, initially in saunas without that many negative ions, your body temperature goes down. It's like that homostatic shift where your body's trying to cool you down. It can't do it. And then it increases. With the Breeze Safe, it's producing 300%, almost 60,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter in the sauna fix tent size. So you're going to inhale so much more and that causes you to sweat even faster. But even more importantly, in my opinion, because with the radiant tank, you're going to sweat so fast anyway, is the humidification of the sweat coming out of your body. You are going to re-inhale that. So if you can have a powerful device that cleans that, you're not going to be inhaling as many toxins from that, that steam, so to speak. And so... This device has multiple purposes. You can use it in your sauna, but you know, as Winnie was talking about multiple chemical sensitivities, there's customers that couldn't leave their their house. They can, you know, hang a purse over their, you know, center of their body and put that on a battery pack and have it just emitting the the plasma and oxygen up to their body and then their um not having the reactions. And so it's really helping people get their life back. Uh, There's uh, customer reviews as far as asthma attacks and allergy. You know, they just are sniffing over the breeze safe and getting relief. And so there was something special going on in this device. And so I sent it off to the lab because I surmised something else was going on. And by pure accident this voltage differentiation that I created uh, is producing oxygen. It's a new way to make oxygen. And now background levels, wherever you're at, depending on if you're outdoors or indoors or wherever, it's 15 to 20% oxygen that you're breathing. Right off the top of the breeze safe is 17% oxygen. So lo and behold, this little device pointing it at your face, you are going to increase your oxygen inhalation by 70 to 118%, depending on what your background levels are now. It can't really be compared to anything else. It doesn't have a fan, so I can't have a CDAR rating as far as, you know, what square footage will it clean. Um, but it's, it's a life hack for people. You can, you know, plug it into your cigarette lighter in your car you know, keep it at your desk. People are sleeping with it. Um, there was even one customer that that says they've been able to get off their sleep apnea equipment. You know, I, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, I love it because 
It's so important to increase our oxygen intake. Uh, people today, we have low oxygen levels in the atmosphere compared to 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, a million years ago. We just have less plants, less oxygen production, a, car, a lot of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and things emitted from cars. And it reduces the amount of oxygen that we intake into our tissues. We have low tissue levels of oxygen, especially live at high elevations. So this is a great hack to be able to increase your oxygen levels. But I think that's also amazing too, that you can also kind of clean up the air inside your sauna. That actually never really occurred to me. <laughs> yeah, and it'll work in any sauna. I mean, I actually had a customer who had the old version of the sauna fix, a teenage son, took a sauna Friday and they left for the weekend and came back Saturday. And they left the he left the sauna fix on. It was 300 degrees in the sauna. The sauna fix was still on. The house didn't burn down, and the air purifier melted, but it was still working. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of sauna you've got. You can add the oxygen, the negative ions, and see the benefits. Yeah, uh, I really liked it when I, I, I first got it and I turned it on and I, I just left the room and I came back and it would just had completely changed the environment of the room. Like the air smelled so fresh. It was really a noticeable difference and change in my environment. And I, I always have it on. I'm sitting here at my desk and I just, I love this little thing. And I think it's just really amazing that you can take it with you and just kind of clean your personal airspace. And because the, the air outside, I'm sorry, but it's going to continue to get worse as, you know, we have uh, the car emissions and we have the, you know, all the companies illegally emitting toxic chemicals into our environment. And uh, Trump is, you know, just letting the EPA just repeal all of the, the laws regarding environmental safety. They're not protecting us any longer. And so I think just a lot more toxic chemicals are going to be released into our air and into our water as well. And it makes little, little gadgets like this uh, far more important, especially if you are super, super sensitive to toxins and, and breathing in toxins. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to quickly uh, show you one thing. This top pulls off. And when this bar right here gets dirty, like I need to clean it, I cleaned it about, you know, a week ago, uh, it will actually not produce as much. So like a little kid toothbrush, just go in here, clean it here with a toothbrush. And, you know, it's going to be less than, you know, basically one minute or two minutes to clean this thing and no replacement filters. And it's pretty much silent. So, yeah, it's. That's why I really like the silence. That's what I like in my <laughs> air filters. And so let's talk a little bit about some of your beauty products, which uh, yeah. we all love as ladies, natural, healthy beauty products that actually work because they don't all work. Um, so you have this tallow deodorant. I absolutely yeah. love this. And uh, there's there's not that many good natural deodorants on the market, but I've literally, I've used half of this already. <laughs> and I love it because it's a, it has a lemon lime scent and I put it on and it works for a couple of days. I only have to put it on once every couple of days. Can you talk a little bit about the tallow deodorant and what tallow is and how this, this helps to stop sweat and stop odor? Sure. Um, basically, my daughter, nothing would work for her. We had bought every single natural deodorant manufactured. And uh, we heard about this. And so basically tallow is from, you know, beef. It's, it's bovine. And, you know, a lot of like the Western Price Association, they talk about rendering and making tallow. It's like in the 1800s, any of the soaps, you know, basically they rendered animal fat and made, you know, skincare products. And so what we did, because, you know, out of a cow, there's, you know, maybe two, 300 pounds of fat. We don't use all of it because what we found out is, is like you'd render it and you'd smell like a hamburger all day. 
<laughs> you know, and you'd have to put in tons of everything to the point where the fragrance would knock you over. So we found that if we only use the fat that sets on top of the kidneys inside this fascia sac, so, you know, like grass fed cows hardly have any fat on them. So we might only get 10 pounds per animal of this fat. And then we render it down and we blend different things in it with, you know, essential oils and, you know, zinc oxide and some baking soda and all of that. And so, but what, what it does is it allows you to sweat and my daughter, there was nothing that worked. And she was applying deodorant on several times a day. Nothing would work. And this, she can apply once. And I mean, she's a nursing mother now. And so when you're a nursing mother, you actually have more body odor than at other times. And it works for her. And so we started, you know, giving some out to people. And people kept on begging for it because nothing would work for them. I ran across a client who was on prescription, you know, deodorant that wasn't even working. And it solved their problem. And like Wendy said, you put some on and it lasts for two days. You don't even have to reapply it every day. And so it's it's just totally non-toxic and natural. But there's actually a lot of uh, healing ingredients in the fat and I mean the human skin uh, because we have fat and everything else it's just like I guess an example would be as if you had melted butter and you put it on your skin and rubbed it it would absorb in and so this deodorant actually absorbs in and then it's non-greasy but you have no sweat s smell but you still sweat so we're not you know stopping the body's natural mechanism yeah, and, that, and you said you even have people in the desert in the Middle East where they're sweating oh. over there, and they're they're you know you're shipping this to the Middle East by the truckloads because it's oh, yeah. working in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> so when anybody orders, we always give them a sample of the deodorant because we know if they'll try it and they have a sweating problem, they'll never use anything else. And so lo and behold, then here's a repeat customer from Saudi Arabia, and they bought 10 jars of it at a time, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, it's obviously <laughs> working. Yeah, and I love this ingredient. So you've got grass range uh, fed, um, you know, no hormones or antibiotics, cow kidney tallow. It, you've got extra virgin olive oil, organic, aluminum-free baking soda. That's key because a lot of baking sodas in natural deodorants are not aluminum-free. And so you're right. trying to avoid conventional deodorant with aluminum, but lo and behold, the baking soda or the baking powder <laughs> has aluminum in it. Hello. Um, so you have zinc oxide, which is non-nanonized because zinc oxides that are nanonized can be problematic. And you've got um, organic arrowroot powder, which absorbs uh, moisture. And then you've got these amazing essential oils that smell so good. Lemongrass, tea tree, lime, sweet orange, and bergamot, which I love. And those kill bacteria naturally. So just you know, so all you're just hitting on all points with this deodorant to, to work really, really well. And I also love your tallow balm. This is the name of this is called acceptance. This also has some uh, really wonderful essential oils. It's the same thing. It's the, the beef t kidney tallow, um, but it doesn't have the ingredients in it to absorb moisture like a deodorant does. So this is just a moisturizer for your skin. I've been putting this on my elbows and my feet and uh, it just smells absolutely heavenly. Can you talk about this stuff? Sure. Um... It's just the ultimate moisturizer. You know, there's, we have like the lavender, we have the unscented, and we have the acceptance blend. The acceptance blend has got frankincense along with other things. So it's really healing and, you know, anti aging. And I actually use it, I wash, I put tallow all over my face every morning. And when I've been on television shows and gone in for makeup, and they're in there getting ready to put makeup on. And they're going, oh, my gosh, what have you got on your skin? We spend 75% of the time just building up, moisturizing the skin before we even apply makeup. Because they really cake it on for TV, you know. And uh, they just can't believe it. And so it's just super moisturizing. And then 
my grandson has eczema and a lot of clients have bought it and they use it for everything from eczema to psoriasis. And it actually, even though that's an internal problem that we need to, to fix with copper toxicity and other things, you know, how many people out there have skin problems that they're itching and they're uncomfortable, you know, and so this acceptance blend is phenomenal, you know, for that. It's just it's my favorite. We have the lavender. We also have unscented and there's no other tallow out there that you can get that's unscented that you're not going to smell like a hamburger running around. So there's no, <laughs> no order even with the unscented. Yeah. Great. Well, Eileen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for imparting your knowledge and your, your research about every different aspect of sauna use and giving us all these tools to be able to increase and improve the results of our sauna sessions. Oh, well, thanks for having me. It's great to educate people, you know? It's like we've been sick and when we feel better and we've found things that work, we wanna share them just naturally. Yeah, so you can learn more about Eileen's work at creatrixsolutions.com. You can click the link below, also below this podcast, this video to uh, click through and learn all about the things we talked about today on the show. And everyone, thank you so much for listening. It's such a pleasure every week to do this podcast and educate you guys. And I get to learn too while I'm doing it. I have so much fun doing it. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. And we'll be back next week with another informative podcast all about heavy metal and chemical detoxification. Thanks so much for listening. 